Hello Aquarius, this is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for the 25th of October through the 1st of November. The 1st of November begins a whole new cycle. That's right. So you're continuing to close out this cycle, finish out the cycle. Strong Aquarius, continuing to protect your peace. We started out this cycle on October 2nd in Libra. That's right. We are still in Libra season. We are still in Libra season. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. Just making sure that you are still balanced out, Aquarius. Let's make sure you are still balanced out. All of my readings are timeless, Aquarius. Let's get it. Let's see what the leading card in your deck is. All right. Okay, somebody's money is growing. We got the seven of pentacles here. We have the three of pentacles here. We have the seven of pentacles here. So some new seeds are being planted, Aquarius. That's right, you're planting some new seeds. Here we also have the three of pentacles. We have the queen of swords. That's right, adjust your crown, Aquarius. We also have the ten of swords. <clears throat> That's right. We also have the Nine of Swords. And we also have the Four of Wands. Right? Very nice. Very, very nice. So you are essentially planting some seeds within yourselves, right? So seven is the number for completion, right? Something is complete, meaning that you have decided to plant some new seeds in your own garden, right? You've decided to plant some new seeds to grow in your own garden. And it looks like with uh, in terms of like your thinking, your whole thinking, your thought process, you only are planting seeds that you want to grow, Aquarius. So if you want to grow seeds of peace, you're only thinking peaceful thoughts, high vibrational thoughts, right? So when we're talking about the queen of the queen of swords here, um, you're carefully vetting your thoughts. So that means if you're having any negative or low vibrating thoughts about anything anything can trigger low vibrating thoughts you see um something where you're out in your travels throughout your day you hear a conversation you hear you see something you pull up something on social media you see something that you drag pull your pull your frequency down right but anyway source is saying to you you're deciding what team you're on within yourself, like as far as teamwork is concerned. So when you're deciding you're planting seeds, you're only aligning yourselves with energies by your team. Like what is your definition of teamwork, right? Those, whatever those seeds that you're planting, that's what you're doing. And that's as far as your legacy is concerned. So that's what I'm seeing here for you. So it looks like for you, the teams that you want to be on Aquarius or that the seeds that you're planting are seeds where people are thriving. Those are the, those are the teams that you want to be on. People who have been talked about behind their backs is the Ten of Swords. People who have been at their lowest points, like the underdogs, right? Whenever you see the number three, three looks like lips, right? Three In numerology, it looks like lips. People who may have been talked about, seeds that have been planted about them, uh, planted to them or about them, but they still underdog, right? Like when you think about the number three. So imagine the the image of the number three are two wide open half circles, right? Maybe not the shape of this number three, but the um, when you see the number three is two wide open half circles facing to the left, gathering inspiration from the past, remolding it to manifest a new creation, right? So threes are born to inspire. Um, uh, for everything, threes come down to furthering a deep ideal. I mean, something that they are so passionate about that they can't imagine anyone else not sharing the same ideal with them. Ideal is their truth, you know, um, their adherence, you know, to the same ideal with, you know, their adherence to the same um you know, truth with them, that the thing that drives them. Threes thrive on, you know, when they can travel, being with others, seeing the world, going on journeys. They wake up in their innate creativity, yearning for independence. 
Threes love defending the, the underdog and are advocates for animals. Um, threes have a higher education and importance um, for threes to make them feel a part of a higher ideals and philosophies they so cherish. Threes will not succumb to moodiness or depression and will easily forgive themselves as well as forgiving others, right? So that's what I'm seeing is like some new seeds are being planted. When you say you forgive, you're saying you're moving on from some things, right? So that's where you're carefully vetting your thoughts. You're not holding on. You're a fixed sign, but you're not holding on to any unforgiveness, but you're moving on. You're not even talking about it. That's something you're saying you're committed to thriving, right? So then number nine right here speaks to communicating out, like sending communication out. You're only sending out what you want to come back, right? So you want peace to come back. So you're only sending out what you want to come back, right? That's it, right? There it is. So somebody has new love coming across their path, right? New love coming across your path. New love could be something that does new passion, like something that you're passionate about. So if you're saying that you have a new passion for cooking or whatever, that's what you're putting out in the universe, right? Or if you say you have a new passion for sewing, that's what you're putting out into the universe. Or if you want a new love for a person, that's what you're putting out into the universe, right? Right? So that's what you're putting out into the universe. So that's what I'm saying for you all so far. Good for you, Aquarius. Good for you. So yeah, we're talking about legacy here. Legacy, legacy, legacy here for you, right? What do you want your legacy to be? What do you want your legacy to be? That's right. So somebody is just now waking up from some nightmares, right? Some nightmares. All right, Aquarius. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. What else? What else? What else? Aquarius. Let's see. All right. Here we have the Seven of Swords here. That's right. We got the Two of Pentacles here. So, yeah, your vault door is closed. Your vault door is closed. There's a seven, right? So, seven is the number for completion. You saw the seven here. Seven for completion again, right? So, when you wake up from nightmares, you finally just wake up from some things that you may have talked about, like put out into the universe and it's coming back to you. It's like, wow, you know, so you're changing. You're saying you're putting, you don't want to relive certain things. So you're changing that. Like, so there's new things to talk about. That's why people read books. That's why people, like, it's like you change the channel, right? You change the channel in your spirit. You put, you put on other things, you change the channel. So yeah, people will think that you like have secrets or or in denial about something or whatever, but it really is you're not trying to relive nightmares, right? So here we have the uh, page of swords here. Yep. So this could be somebody on their job. This could be somebody on their job because we're looking at money here, money or material possessions or whatever. People could think that you're holding on to some kind of secrets because you're not that much of an open book, right? But really, it's like you're not trying to relive nightmares. Some people will try to drag you back. See this right here? This person, right? If you can get in real good, like like as if you're going to zoom in, right? Okay, let me see if I can pull the card in closer, right, without, you know, making somebody lightheaded and dizzy. So I'm going to stop the card right here. So maybe if you could take a screenshot and zoom in, Aquarius. But see, this person has come a long way of feeling like, you know, you may have been an open book, you know, talking to people and those kind of things. Just kind of, like I said, being an open book. People have on all kinds of ideas about you and all kinds of things. And they may not have been the best ideas. You just talking, 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 you know, to people. People drawing their own conclusions about you, all Aquarius. And then you just say, you know what? You get their feedback of what they think about you based on just limited knowledge. And you find that you have to keep explaining, adding on. Oh, I thought you meant this. Oh, I thought you meant that. Oh, I, I misunderstood. All of that, Aquarius, like I said, keep reliving nightmares. So, again, of just being misunderstood. So, here we go. Source is just saying to you, here's the Page of Swords here. Page is very youthful energy. And so when people have all these ideas, like I said, 
if you feel like you're walking a tightrope, or it just if you have if you are miss if you misunderstand other people and what they say, like how they communicate, right? So source is just saying to you, whatever um whatever anxiety you may have been feeling about something, and remember time is relative. Something could have already happened, it could be happening, could it be about to happen, right? Time is relative. But your anxiety about something is gonna be going away very soon. Very, very soon. It could have already gone away, right? But yeah. You're definitely leaving behind a lot of distractions. See this amethyst right here? You're just leaving behind a lot of distractions. Yeah. Closing out a cycle. You're embarking on a whole new journey. That color yellow right here connects us with the solar plexus chakra. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Ten of wands here. Yep, ten of wands. Yeah, ten of wands. You're moving on from something. You're just moving on. And just emotionally just feeling like you hit the jackpot. Just moving on from something. Because again, some new seeds are being planted, right? Some new seeds. Somebody could be physically moving. Like somebody could be physically moving. Like physically relocating. Like to a new job, new department. You know, a lot of people are getting new jobs. Moving to a different department within their same company. So congratulations to you. If that's, I've talked to quite a few of you all. So I know a lot of you all have gotten promoted. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to you all. You know who you are. Um, and that's why I see your money growing. Because you've planted some new seeds. You have made a conscious decision, Aquarius, to speak only into existence what you want to grow. And that's it. That's the secret sauce, right? That's the secret sprinkle. <laughs> and you have decided to leave people out of your business. And that's it. That's it. You've decided to leave people out of your business, right? So it doesn't matter who wants to drag you back into conversations that's going to invoke nightmares for you. You're saying, no, 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 no. You're not walking backwards on a tightrope because people still have certain ideas about you or feel like you need to talk about something that could, you know, cause you to have nightmares or sweats or whatever it is. Source is saying to so you, you've moved on. You've moved on. You move on. That's why you see that number nine there. Yeah, here we have the nine of swords here. I mean, yeah, nine of swords there. So it looks like it was two situations in particular, Aquarius. Two types of situations in your life, whether it could be in your personal and your professional life. Think about it. Personal and your professional life, or it could have been two situations in your personal, two situations in your professional. Whatever it was, the two situations, right? Two places, two people, two things, mix it up. However, sit down and think about it. But situations in your life that when you think about it, they were nightmares for you. Just even think about it, you know, were nightmares. It's like it always had you walking on tightrope, like you didn't know what to say. Like you open up, you talk about certain things, it's just a nightmare. So whatever it was, you have just decided to, hey, close it out. Yeah. And that's how you got to your throne, just praying. You're just praying for, you're just praying. You're in prayer mode, right? So here we have the five of wands here. So yeah, there will be no baiting and switching. There will be no baiting and switching moving on, moving forward, right? Here we have the king of um, king of cups, right? There would be no baiting and switching. So if anybody is trying to like manipulate your emotions and trying to drag you back into a conversation about anything Aquarius, like I said before, yeah, you're you're somebody that's just too good spirits. Too just you're just in too good of spirits to be dragged back into anything conversation. There it is, fulfillment, right? Both of these are your ruling planets. Saturn, like I said, you don't have a problem enforcing boundaries. This is the first card in tarot. I mean, in major arcana. This is the last card in major arcana. This is Uranus, and this is Saturn. Both of these are currently retrograde. All right, we can ready to go ahead and get ready to close this out. Get ready to close it out. Yeah, the seeds planted. The seeds are planted. Right, the seeds are planted, right? Here we have the queen of coins here. So you're down to earth, Aquarius. You're very relatable, right? And so sometimes on this card right here, you may see a white rabbit, right? So you may have heard me say this if you've been tuned into my channel for quite some time. That white rabbit symbolizes a lot of things but like on matrix it can symbolize the white rabbit on matrix like a combination white rabbit on, right excuse me white rabbit on the matrix if y'all remember 
for those of you all who remember the matrix i don't know what everybody's age is but and then the white rabbit on um alice in wonderland you know how to uh, follow down this rabbit hole drank the potion ate the cake um went on this peculiar journey right and then awaken from this you know awaken from this dream right so someone else's fairy tale could be another person's nightmare right so you could have gone on you could have bought into someone else's fairy tale and it could have become a nightmare for you you know aquarius and it could have put you right here on the throne right they say, wow, you bought into a fairy tale, right? And it was a nightmare for you. And you're just waking up from that nightmare, right? And so you're not trying to relive something. You're not trying to relive something, right? So that's where you are. That's where you are. So anybody that's trying to get you to relive a nightmare, you're not, you don't want to relive a nightmare. The answer is no. You're only about helping people to adjust their crown. Only helping people to adjust their crowns, Aquarius. And that's it. So, yeah, while you're down to earth and you're relatable, mm -mm. No. so here we have the three of coins here. That just lets you know that you don't want to be a part of that kind of a team where people keep trying to invoke nightmares for people over and over and over again. People don't know what they may say that triggers people. But if you tell people, that tri that's triggering for you. That's triggering for you. That could ruin somebody's entire day. That's triggering. Or if they tell you that something you may have said is triggering for them, be respectful and say you need to remove yourself from it so that you're not hurting them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Yeah, so you got three here and three there. You got nine here and nine there. So it's like it's two situations, right? Right? So, yeah, work hard at that, right? Work hard at that, of being respectful of other people, but also enforce your boundary and respect theirs, but also enforce yours. Here we have, that's right, here we have the fight, the um, Knight of Swords. And Knight of Swords is about staying focused because some people will look at this as like they will try to start a fight with you to get you to say something, to get you to, you know, fight. But some on the... the um, Sometimes you'll see a person on a horse or you'll see them a motorcycle on some car. This car just happened to see like a boxing, um, like a boxing bag or a sword here. See, it's like this boxing bag that somebody, you know, could have um, tattoos, right? Like put them up, dukes, put these dukes up, whatever, right? Like fight. So the source is saying to you, you're not interested in that. You know who you are. You've already done the mirror work. You're not trying to get into an argument with anybody. Um, somebody could see you as this dark entity. They could assume the worst about you. So no matter how good of a person you see in them, they could still assume by your birthday. They could assume by what they heard about you. They could assume by your zodiac sign, what they heard uh, from other people. You're not Aquarius. You, like I said, enforce a boundary. Enforce a boundary. Because otherwise, you'll keep. you'll be having to clear up everything. Oh, well, I thought, well, I heard Aquarius are this way, or I heard, you know, well, I know somebody that was so-and-so. Yeah, so, no. Mm -mm. Close the vault door out airtight. Close it out airtight, Aquarius. Close it out airtight. Just close it out airtight. I heard this, I heard that, I heard this, and I heard that. Even though, like I said before, your heart has been in the right place towards people. It's looked like you've been giving a lot of people the benefit of the doubt. And these are energies that have spent enough time around you to come draw their own conclusion. These are, and these are, this right here, all of this, all of this is not money, by the way. Okay. This is time. Time is money. These are energies who have spent enough time around you where you've invested enough time in your heart and giving them love and giving them the benefit of the doubt where your head and heart may have been at war, but you kept giving and giving and giving for them to, you know, still listen to any nightmare stories about you. Yeah. Enforce the boundary, Aquarius. Just leave the distractions behind. Yep. Here we have the four of wands. Like I said, this could be somebody's new hobby. It could be gardening or something you're doing. 
So yeah, so you got a doubles here. You got the, uh, let me see. Um, three and two is five, five coins here. There you got nine, nine, that's two. Then you got four and four here. Yeah, so yeah. All right, let's get ready to close it out. Let's get ready to close it out. Let's get ready to close it out. Because it's like almost like somebody, it's almost like some energies almost feel like it's your responsibility to like uh, clear up what they heard about you. I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know who this is for, Aquarius. It's like to me, like, well, well make me, you know, uh, clear up what we heard, what he, whoever these energies are, what we heard about you. If it's in the workplace for you all, well, I mean, can you prove what you wrote on your resume or whatever? I don't know what this is for you all, Aquarius. But anyway, like I said, you're only putting out to the universe what you want to grow. That's it. That's it. So you got a lot of good things coming your way, Aquarius, and stay focused on that. Stay focused on that. Stay focused on that. But I do see somebody have love coming across their path. And again, you're embarking on a whole new journey. And, um, yeah, a whole new journey. And like I said, something else has already been fulfilled. And you're staying focused, laser focused, laser, laser, laser focused. And the universe fully supports it. Usually this card is not in, um, it's just on this deck right here, but the universe fully supports you embarking on a whole new journey. It's, it's really kind of sad, Aquarius. You must be dealing with earth energies who need the physical, do deals with the physical existence of things because... Um, who may need to like physically see something, who may need to physically see something. So you could have other forces that's like trying to work against you all, Aquarius, who want some proof themselves of some things, you know. Um, I would just say in this instance right here, just pray. That's all I can tell you. Just pray. Remain cool, calm, and collected. There is a, there are definitely some energies who some master manipulators here, Aquarius, that see you as opposition in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You have an emotional predator and you have a uh, physical and an emotional predator who is two energies that's trying to work against you, Aquarius. So you're not giving it any energy. None whatsoever. Here we have the two of pentacles here. Yep, two of pentacles here. Yep, two of pentacles here. One, one thing for certain I'm seeing here in your cards is that this is what they have in common. In the past, you've given them information that they've asked. Like I said, you've been in an open book. They get what they need from you, Aquarius, and then they give you the cold shoulder. That's what they have in common. So you all can think about whoever those energies are, whoever they are. They give you the cold shoulder. So that should be easy for somebody. I don't know who it is. So you're very fortunate to have figured something out, Aquarius. Very, very fortunate to have figured some things out for yourselves. Very shady. Here's the um, see these shady trees right here. Yep, very shady energies. Um, The source is cooking up something nice for you all, Aquarius. Cooking up something very nice for you all, for you all to live a softer life. You're not interested in getting into any fights, but I mean, I, I'm, you know, when they're talking about gut or fist fights with anybody, you're not interested in getting into any arguments with anybody. Somebody's trying to stay focused. Whatever it is that you're working on, Aquarius, you're trying to stay focused, um, and then just do that. Yeah, it's like people are convinced that you are operating in darkness, like dark magic or something, Aquarius. If somebody says that to you, oh, I thought you were on working with dark magic, that's where it ends right there. That's exactly where it ends right there. Don't even don't even be indecisive about it anymore. Because that lets me know that people are talking to other people. Here's the um, cherry card. Yeah, source is saying you're actually being rewarded for moving on. Source is actually reward because that's an assumption. You don't want that to keep being put out into the universe because after a while you'll start doubting yourself like well, are you working with dark magic? When well, you know you're not. And that's actually them planting seeds, somebody planting seeds in them and them projecting seeds into your garden. And you know you're not working with dark magic. So, yeah. It is them actually exposing whoever they're working with because 
them assuming and them telling you, them telling you something about some kind of dark magic. Them assuming you working with some kind of dark magic. They're letting you know who they're line, who they partnered with. They're telling you that. So yeah. So anyway, like I said, you're focusing on your legacy, right? Focusing on your legacy, who you want to build your legacy with, who you want to team up with. You never assume the worst about people, Aquarius, when you can pray for people. Don't even do that. You can pray for people. You don't align yourself with anybody who is assuming the worst about people. Yeah. So, much better lies ahead for you. So, adjust your crown. It's time for you to schedule a vacation for those of you all who like to skip, um, go on vacation. The answers you seek are coming. You probably already know who these energies are. So, solar plexus chakra cleanse. Somebody never stopped loving you, but the angel Gabriel, the messenger of God, is with you. Somebody apologizes for hurting you all, Aquarius, but close out the cycle in love and get some fresh air. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. Something is not as deep as you think it is, but don't cast your pearls before swine and everything is in moderation. Of course, you're not calling them swine. It's just, y'all know what it is. You know, don't waste good things on people who won't appreciate them. Um, and so the, the healer and protector of travelers is with you. That's the angel Raphael. First red flag, pray and meditate. But somebody regrets lying to you about something, Aquarius. But relax. Toss some things into a burning bowl. The third eye chakra cleanse. But be patient. The answers are coming. New love awaits. The, you have the gift of telepathy. That's the transference of thoughts, feelings, intuitive, emotive, um, emotively, and super consciously. Super conscious. You know, so the dispenser of justice is in your favor. And it's not always physical, like court justice. It's some, you know, spiritual justice, Aquarius, right? You're not going to do an injustice to yourselves anymore. People assume the worst about you all, Aquarius, because of who they're around and they're talking about you, manipulating their thoughts about you, especially if you've talked to them, you've spent time or you've never done anything bad to them. You've invested time in them to get to know them, family, and they believe the worst about you all, Aquarius. It's nothing you need to clear up. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So like I said before, I see a lot of you all tossing some things into a burning bowl, operating in the spirit of love. As a matter of fact, anything negative that you may even have to think about them, Aquarius, I see you tossing that into a burning bowl and writing out a list of, and this is how I feel like you're going to finalize things about whoever it is that comes to mind. I feel like you're going to write down the things that you love about them, actually, and I feel like that is what you're going to carry with you in terms of a memory, but I feel like you're finalizing and closing it out airtight and moving on. That's what I feel like you're doing. There is no more final. There's no more conversation. Here's artistry. Yeah. Artistry. So a lot of people are highly creative right now, right? So it depends on what you're creating. You're creating legacy for you. Whatever that looks like for you, right? Everybody choose to create what they want to create, right? Some people are creating narratives about stuff. You're fighting for your legacy, Aquarius. And so you're not creating stories about people practicing in dark magic. There's a lot of there's a lot of ways that people practice in dark magic. If somebody says something about somebody negative over and over and over again. That person's a witch. They're practicing dark magic. They're into this. They're into that. You're accusing somebody into kind of stuff. You know, if a person is listening to, like a person could listen to lyrics of a song that's like, you know, bad lyrics of a song. That's a form of spell work, words, spellings. You know, you listening to certain songs over and over and over. It's just looping. That's a form of dark magic. Especially if that song has you go out here and do something bad to somebody. Um, right? So spend time with animals. You know, so somebody may be taking a walk, right? Maybe taking a nature walk or something like that. Or maybe going on a hike. Here we have 42, right? So again, four and two, 12, one, two, three, right? Three, born to inspire, right? You were born to inspire. See, the challenging side of the number three or the dark side of the number three is threes can and will multitask. However, and this is the dark side of number three. However, their tendency to scatter and go off track results in wasted energies when they are tired or out of alignment. They can delay or dilute the impact of their divine mission if they don't learn to or to how to focus and specialize in one direction at a time. 
Yeah, one direction at a time. So that's the energies who are out here doing so much stuff. They got so much going on in their lives that they think they're focusing on one thing at a time, but they're not really concentrating on any one particular thing at a time. So it's just darkness, darkness, darkness. Somebody come and tell them, oh, yeah, oh, they're an Aquarius. You know, Aquarius are this way. Or well, they doing something. They just go straight to the dark, depending on what frequency they're on, depending on who they're around, depending on what their waters are around, you know, water. Geographical location, who they're around. Water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds. They're around a bunch of shady energies, you know, and those energies instigating stuff, limited, limited beliefs about things, right? There's a lot of different ways to put spells on people. Bullying could put spells on people, right? But your hard work is paying off. Yep, your hard work is paying off. So keep praying for people, Aquarius. You being gentle with people, not bullying people, not... Um, some people see that as being soft. You're not wanting to argue with people. You're letting people have the last word. They see that as weakness, right? You're letting source fight your battles. You apologizing to people, they see that as a weakness, right? But you're you're respecting people's boundaries. If they're telling you that something that you said to them is a trigger for them, you are respecting their boundaries, but you also are enforcing yours. So love, you're operating in the spirit of love. My heart is open to receive the love that is rightfully mine. All guilt is smashed and abolished. I operate under the law of grace. I am connected to the continuous source of infinite and abundant love and light. Yeah, love and light. So, you already know, like I said, you can already tell who's connected, Aquarius, just by what's being said to you. Um, and you know where it's coming from. You know exactly where it's coming from. Where the organization is coming from, who it's connected to. You know the root of it. You know the root of it. So. Number eight, I am successful. So your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other Aquarius. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. So that's right. Break ties with anything that is committed to believing the worst about you and not extending any grace to you all Aquarius. You all are extending a lot of grace to a lot of energies that are committed to believing the worst. Again, only speak to what you want to grow. And what you're speaking to is extending grace and forgiveness. You're only planting seeds that you want to grow. And that's what I see happening for you all. So that's what there it is. You're focusing on your legacy. Focusing on your legacy and the energies have that have shown you, that have given you the cold shoulder for whatever Aquarius. You're keeping it out of your... You're keeping it out of your uh, vault door. But somebody's going to feel like they hit the um, jackpot. I mean, if you have hit the jackpot. Hey, cousin. No, <laughs> just kidding. But, you know, somebody's going to emotionally feel like they hit the jackpot because you figured it out. You figured it out, Aquarius. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. In the next video. But, yeah, somebody's in really, really good spirits here. Somebody's in really, really good spirits. Things are growing. They're happy for you, Aquarius. Like I said, you know, you're just waking up. To some things so like i said keep keep your eyes open keep your spiritual eyes open right um keep your spiritual eyes open i'll see you all in the next reading um have make it an amazing weekend and let's get ready for this whole new cycle this whole new moon whole new you all right bye